So the big difference with this one is that it's in cardinal direction. So we have east and north and west and south instead of 0, 90, 180, and 270. But let's look at our first vector with 1. You know that's going to be our theta. Our x is also our adjacent. And our y is also our opposite. If we look at this, it's 10 degrees east of north, or east from north. So we start at north and move east. So this angle is 10 degrees. Since we know this is 90, this angle has to be 80. So in order to find our x, our adjacent, we do cosine of theta. Equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And we get 0.17. And if that's 80 degrees as your theta, then of course your x side would be very small. And it's positive because it's going towards east or towards zero. And the sine of our theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So our y is 0.98, and it's positive, because it's pointing towards the north, or 90. And again, if you want to use your unit circle here until you get closer to the end and your final answer, that's okay. Just don't forget to change back to cardinal directions. So for our second vector, we have 3. That's going to be our theta x is adjacent, and our y is opposite. Now, 35 degrees south of east, so we go to the east and we go south. And that's 35 degrees, so it is our theta in this case. To find our x, we would do cosine of theta equals adjacent the hypotenuse, and you get 2.5, and since your x is pointing towards east, it's positive, 2.5 at east, and we would do the sine of theta equals opposite of the hypotenuse, gives you 1.7, and because your y points towards the south, it will be negative 1.7 at south. And now you could sum them. Our x is positive 0.17 plus positive 2.5 gives you 2.67, or we can just say 2.7. And since it's positive, we know it's at east. And our y is positive 0.98 plus negative 1.7. And that gives us negative 0.72. Since it's negative, we know it's at south. So this is our, res our x and y components. And if we draw them, we have east and we have south. So our resultant is here and our theta is there. Let's get the magnitude magnitude, we do 2.7 squared plus 0.72 squared equals c squared. And we get that our magnitude is 2.8.
find our theta. We do tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. So our theta is 15 degrees. So our resultant, I'm just going to put a big R, is equal to 2.8 at, and this is east, north, west, and south. So this is 15 degrees south from east. So 15 degrees south of east. It tells you how to get there. Now our equilibrium, in this case we can't really add 180 because it makes it not in parallel directions. So we say 2.8 and we want this opposite vector. Which means that this is going to be our theta. And we can see that it's going to be 15 degrees north of west. So when you get the equilibrium and it's in cardinal directions, all you have to do is pick the opposite direction. South becomes north, east becomes west. And that will always be correct for you.